What am I doing? We gotta talk. <laughs> yeah, tell them what you're doing. Hi, everybody. I'm Donna. That's Steve. I'm Steve. <laughs> we are Happy Heart Treasures, and we are rehomers of stuff in Lincoln, Nebraska. We are gonna go through this pile. Steve just went to bowling, he got home, and I had it all ready, so it's, I don't know, 10 o'clock after 10 o'clock at night, and I'm in the mood, so we're gonna dig. Yeah, I came over from bowling, and she's like, are we gonna go through that stuff? And I'm like, now? And she's like, yeah. But hey, before I show you that, uh, before we get into that, I wanna show you one other thing. Look what we got straightening out on the table. Oh yeah, that is a big, <laughs> large map we have cool plans for this in the basement uh but we will get to that hopefully in the next video like we're we have plans on what we're going to do and how we're going to do it so but we did find a map and it was in our inventory we got it in a clean out many many moons ago and it was hiding over there by my desk and our table and we found it so we're going to use it all right this is stuff from the uh salvage yard buyout a couple videos ago we didn't go through any of this yet except for what we went through on video. <laughs> we have sold some stuff, we had listed some stuff, whatever, but we have still a whole bunch left. So if we come across a box or tote that we've already shown in that in the video with it, then we'll like edit that one out maybe. But we're going to go through every box and tote here and we're going to find some stuff to flip for a profit. Perty. Perty. It's the etching. It's, it's kind of different. I've not seen one like that before. It says... Vintage cake stand, it says. Yeah. Cool. I just sort of like milk glass. Ooh, that's different. It's yellow on the bottom. It's like somebody peed in a clear dish. That's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> There's a cup. That's a Fostoria. This is a candlestick yep. you know holder and you know these are coming back in because our teen our teenager she's not a teenager our uh 20 year old 21 oh 21 year old wanted candlestick holders well, there you go so and this i think is that Fostoria too oh it might be it looks kind of like depression it, it says okay this is crystallite. All right. Mm -hmm. This goes you, with this. You this picked a doozy to start out with. That's Fostoria. Oh, that clear glass. Yeah, Ooh. but Fostoria is good. Yes, Fostoria does sell. This one. Yeah. Oh, that name right there. I just listed one for a, a sugar and creamer set. H E I S O Y, I think it says. That's another Fostoria. Yep. Clear glass, clear glass, clear glass. Kind of different. Oh, cream and sugar in the film. That's Fostoria. Oh, that's another set. We got two. Two for the price of one. One listing. That's a Fostoria. Okay. Not crystal. Where's the one that goes with that? Out there. Not sure what that one is. Uh, another clear glass piece. <laughs> and here's the sugar that matches it. There you go. Hey. All right. It's always first better when Not we have. Real exciting, but yep. that's tote number one. Tote number two. Tote number two. Will it be clear glass? Maybe. Not clear, pink. Pink depression glass there. Another. Ooh, Huskers. Huskers, 1997. I don't know. Huskers glass. There's a, there should be a set of these. There's a different Husker glass. Nebraska Jigger. I don't know what that is. Jigger. But... What's a jigger? I don't know. There's another one right there. Look that right. up. Tell me what a jigger is. 
Oh, we have another one. Candlestick holder. Oh, I thought it was a lid. It's not a lid. No. Oh. I don't know if that goes together. It does now. It does now. There's another one. There's a. Oh, that said set of four, so that should be all of those. Pink depression glass. It says on there. We should wheel. We should replace all of our dishes with like depression Pink? glass. How many bowls full would it take <laughs> you to get enough cereal to fill your belly using <laughs> one of those? It's not super exciting, but it's more exciting than clear glass. I will say that. I mean, that's kind of cool. We've got a cool pattern on it. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. There's another one from that set. I expect, I think there's six of these total, but I might be wrong. Another set there. Ooh, what's that be? Oh, it's a mystery lid. A little sherbet dish. A big sherbet dish. That's a sugar dish. Ooh, a platter. Look at that. Pink depression platter. Got a little fancy no, design let's on see. it. These are the same. Another pinwheel. Oh, that's kind of a set there. Nice. This has the base uh, Another edges. platter. It'd be nice to see how many pieces we have of each. I'll let you do the counting. What? I'll let you do the counting. No, I mean, when you unwrap it like this, it's nice to see what we have. Yeah. Whole bunches is what you have. Now, just so you know, it's not all glass because I can see, like in the crates, especially back there. I don't know if there's much glass in those at all, so we will be getting other things, just so you know. <laughs> Stick with us. We have no idea Stick with what we're getting into. Keepers, how many were in there? That's it. Okay. Oh, now see, look, that's pink Fostoria. Interesting. Sugar. All right, so that's it for that tote. Whole lot of pink. Depression glass. All right, next up. There you go. Halloween is around the corner. <laughs> some kind of mask. Carved a mask. African, it says. Be for the booth. What's that? Cloth like oh. wipes. Oh, saucer. Cup and saucer. Oh, they're square. That's different. I've not seen one of those before. Ooh, look at there. Slag glass. Oh. Whoa. So is that like oil and doesn't doesn't you get come with sets like that? Wow, that has 49 and then marked out a 24, but that's cool. Yeah. There's a uh what do they call it? Carnival glass? Very cool. Well, this is cool. Murano. Is it say Murano? Art glass. That's cool. It doesn't say Murano. Probably Murano style. I don't know. Yeah. Well, there's a uh, carnival glass yeah. thing. Oh. That's kind of Ooh, a... We've sold things like that before. Murano Art Glass Bowl Yellow Bubbles. That's cool. I like yeah, that. That's heavy. I know one of our uh, watchers that lives here in Lincoln, she <laughs> likes stuff like this, so... We might get a new home here in Lincoln, you never know. Look that's at this. a big this. old ash tree. I it? remember this being at my grandma's house. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Eons ago. Big old ash tree. Heavy glass. I don't, Look at another I don't see one. any chips either. Yeah, a lot of his stuff doesn't have, does, you know, it didn't have chips and stuff. Very cool. this? All right. Those are cool. Like that, that is our next box right there. Yeah. All right, here goes the next one. It says school. 
Oh, this is that same pattern with the bubbles. Yep. It's kind of different. Yep. Ooh. A dually for when you have more than one candle. When you've been in real big trouble, so you need to Look at light, that. light lots oh, of man, candles. Man, you need lots of candles. This is great for power goes out. <laughs> two of those. Yep. Wow, we just got all the candle holders up in here. Yeah. Two okay, of those. Here, up in here. This one has kind of a cool pattern yeah, on like the bottom. Yeah, I like that thing on the top. Looking for any kind of marking. I don't see anything. Depression era. Now, this is that same kind we found a little bit ago. Oh, fancy. Ooh. Looks like Fusto. Does it say? Windsor milk pitcher to put your milk in yeah. for your little tiny milk or cereal yeah. bowl. Oh. A little ice bucket, probably. Ice bucket thing. It's got some designs around it there. A, probably a sugar. We did know there was going to be a few clear glass coats, so hopefully there's not a lot. Yeah. See, this goes with this. Kinda. Coasters. Set of three coasters here. There's a set. Sugar creamer. Ooh, that's a different one. Ooh, look at that. Man, we gotta get some candles up in here. <laughs> we could light up the garage with candles. Yep. Ooh. Those might be, you know, those are unique. They might be worth something. Yeah. Celery relish. Cambridge glass. It's footed. Footed. There you be. That is the next tote right That's there. That's it, yeah. All right, we're going to do it one more tote here, and then we'll switch, and I'll open some of those crates here. Pink depression glass. This is Clear glass. Relish. Big old cake stand. That is a really large cake. I don't think Donna makes cakes that big. I don't make cakes. You make a coffee cake. That's awesome. Yeah, I do make coffee cake. Some hobnail pink. Just so much glassware. I'm glad that I have Donna because I don't have the patience to do glassware and she does very well with it. <laughs> Candy dish. There you go. Another big heavy dish. Divided relish. That's another that name again. Hezzy. H A I S E Y. Uh huh. Candle yep. wick. Right. And the person that had all this stuff that we got it from, he doesn't even have an email address, let alone eBay. He just does like the thrift stores and shows like this. So there may be stuff that sells here on eBay that you know he doesn't didn't know about because he don't do any electronics type stuff like that. So, not sure so we'll see. They're this. green. We got a different color, you guys. Green. Must be probably a set of four of those, huh? Enough to make a circle. Whoa, are you onto something there? Do you have a thought? I have a thought. It makes a circle. I think it's too big for the tray. It's too big. It is too big for the tray. It's too big. All right, but there's, oh, five of them to make a circle. All right, yeah. is that it in that tote? That's it. All right, some more glassware, y'all. Let's switch over to some crates now. 1986 Power Barons board game. I just sold a Smokey the Bear board game today for 30 bucks and shipped it out. Um, this cool. is a box with a glass top. I don't know. Is that glass? A shadow box? Yeah, I don't know. Huh. Made in the USA. That's just a little empty box. And we showed this one in the uh, previous video Husker glasses, die cast cars. We showed this. 
So I'm not gonna, yeah, that right there, salt cellar set. Okay. So we're not gonna go through that one. Next up, we did not go through this one. What the heck? What is that? That is the biggest roll of tape I've ever seen. Is it still sticky? I don't think we have a dispenser for that. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I'm sure it is. Okay, and here we got a Kevin Harvick diecast car. That was my driver, I mentioned him in a recent video. We have a Dur Dale Earnhardt Jr. right here. It says it's a Nilla Wafers car right there. It says clear stock car. You know what? I'm curious. Let's see what... I'm curious if it's actually like a clear car. One of 3,000 it says. So this seems a little more limited. Let's take a look-see. What a clear car looks like. It's not... Oh, it's half clear. Look at that. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Would you look at that? I have never seen that before. Did he drive one like that, or is that no. just a... <laughs> No. I was going to say, what the no, heck? No, that is cool, though. I've never seen that. And that, like I said, is limited to 3,000. Usually, they're a lot more than 3,000, I think. Like, this one is 56,000. So, this might be worth something. A little more limited, then. So, if it was worth something... To Dale I, Jr.? Then Yay. I popped up a cop right, comp right here. So, that's very cool. That might be a great find right there. You only had $15 on it, though. And then we have a die cast, um, die cast truck right there. Uh, old map. Then we have a, is that a bus? Die cast Volkswagen, Volkswagen bus. Uh, 1960 VW delivery van. That's pretty cool right there. That is cool. I think. And then last in this crate we have a uh, Kenny Irwin die cast. Racing car right there. Those are cool. All right, next crate. Try to put it on this side, maybe help the lighting. Uh, Marvel Superior Octopus right here. Uh, yeah, Funko Pop right there. Then we have a George R. R. Martin right there. I don't know what he's from. So I don't know if they're worth anything. A little Funko Pop action. There's a little Superman. Another die-cast Corvette right there. Ooh, 1957 Chevrolet Corvette. Cool. Um, here is Harry Potter Deathly Hollows. This looks like probably an audiobook. Is that what it is? Oh, right here there's CD. So I bet you it is. It's probably an audiobook from all of the... Hmm. Probably, we could listen to this. Okay. Approximately 21 hours. Okay. 21 hours of Harry Potter. Anyway, that's just the Deathly Hollow, actually, because here is In the Order of the Phoenix audio Who, Who's book. reading it? Uh, I don't know. By... Jim Dale. Hmm. Good old Jim Dale. You remember Jim Dale, don't you? And another one. And another one. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire audiobook. Right there. And then we have this little basket with some old... Fish. Old... Uh, Animals. Reptilians. Yeah, dinosaurs and sharks. So that's what's in this basket. Cool. All right, here we have a bunch of stuff in paper, wrapped in paper. Might be glassware. Might not be glassware. Is Francoma bowl. Francoma. That's cool. Right there, 201 Francoma. And here we have a crock jug with lip. Plum color. Um, no marking on the bottom that I see. Mm -hmm. McCoy. So McCoy planter. I know we've sold several things like that before. Yeah. Nope, definitely McCoy. It says in big letters. And lastly, nope, that is a lid. What is that? Cheese box. A cheese box? It says cheese box marking. right here. Huh. Look at that. Is it hinged? It's taped. It's oh. not hinged. So that's unique. Very cool. I don't see any chips again. So everything seems to be well taken care of. For as old as they are. Well, there's a chip on the corner. But anyway, that's that crate. 
Okay, if you don't remember, or if you didn't watch the video, uh, we did work, what do you say, a dozen, 10, 10 12 boxes totes. Uh, and this is what's left, and we paid $400 for this lot. So I think it was a great deal, and we're really appreciative of it. Um, so let's see, we got tablecloths right there. And then we have, it looks like a lot of glasses, maybe. There's an old Brutus and Nero. I've never seen this one. I mean, you see these kind of glasses all over the place. Um, I was looking to see a year. 1977, Brutus and Nero. Speedy Gonzalez. Let's see. Let's see. There's an A&W there. Oh, we have an A&W set somewhere. Jerry. Tom and Jerry. Yo, Simba Sam. Who's that? I don't know. You're supposed to read it. Barney, it says. Barney. I'm not familiar with Barney. Barney. Rocky and the Dawn's Early Lights. It's an Arby's cup. That one's or, an Arby's. This is a Pepsi. Orville. I've never seen many of these. We've sold cups like these before, but I've never seen it. Not, maybe Tweety there's a bird. couple of these. So maybe there's a diamond in the rough here somewhere. Foghorn Leghorn. I know I've seen that one a few times. This cup? Yeah, Foghorn Leghorn. Wiley Coyote. Tasmanian Devil. Elmer Fudd. What's he doing? Hunting Wabbit. <laughs> Be very quiet. We're hunting Wabbits. Hot stuff makes it hot for the red coats. If any of these are worth something, it might be this one. Because all those comic books I sold, there was hot stuff comic books. And they were worth significantly more than the others. So, who knows? Big Baby Huey. I'm guessing like $10 a glass based on what I've seen. So, we'll, we'll see. We'll check them all out. And one more. Woody Woodpecker. Shazam. There you go. So all those glasses, and now we'll wrap them all back up in paper and put them all back in again. <laughs> but aren't we having fun? Yeah, this is cool. I like doing this. This is the fun part, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, in this one, we might have shown this. There's only a couple things in here, so I'm going to show you anyway. I think we did. There's a croc. Another croc. What a croc. Jugs. Those are jugs. Jugs. Croc jug. Uh, no markings. We did look at these in the other video. Yep, the little bunt cake pan. Mm-hmm. So that's what's in this crate. Okay, in here we have a couple old signs, metal signs. An old fan in here. Ooh. Oh, look at that. You ever seen that? I've never seen that. A glass. Glass rolling pin. Mm -mm. That is cool. Never seen that before. Don't know if it's worth anything, but that's cool. Do we have another? Oh. Well, that's a glass with glass handles. Wow. Crazy. Crazy the things you find oh, when you do this job. Holy cow. That is heavy. Old Eskimo fan working condition. I wonder, guys. I think, aren't these old fans worth good money? Yeah. Possibly. I'm going to look that up here in just a second. have a little pitcher. Splatterware. I have a bowl right over there that matches it. Feels like a paperweight. I hope it is. Paperweights are good. Oh, that is, ooh, cool. That's pretty. And that paperweight. So I just looked it up and this is like probably 20 bucks is all. Um, and with the weight, I don't know if we'll sell that we might put that on a dollar just because it's so heavy, be hard to ship. 
if I'll look at it more closely, but it looks like all cleaned up might be worth a little bit more, but it looks like this will be a lot of work. So anyway, that's very cool. You don't see those every day. Okay, in here we have more Funko Pops. Look at this one. Oh, here you go. Obi-Wan Kenobi, this is art series. I don't know. Is it wooden? No, it's plastic. It's just made to look that way. Oh. And then we have a Doctor Doom Funko Pop right there. I don't know Funko Pops. I doubt these are high dollar ones. Uh, Fortnite. But, we'll check, obviously. Rocket Raccoon. <laughs> His box is a little damaged. Yeah, they're all, they're not in perfect condition. This is Harvey Bullock from what? That same. Gotham right there. Okay. Uh, and then we have a John Deere. Oh, cool. Little John Deere tractor. Is that brand new in package? Looks like it. Sure looks like it. All right, we're looking here. I'm not, my expectations are low. There's a Coleman jacket. <laughs> it looks like some jars, old mason jars. Um, there's some blue ones, blue ball glass jars. They're all just like canning jars. That's kind of cool with the metal. That is cool. A fruit jar. It's got a $95 ticket on it. Maybe I should look that up. It says Millville fruit jar unique. $95. I don't know what it's Velcro actually. But that's cool with that screw lid right there. Yeah, that's it is. neat. Okay, there's a lot of different things to look at. These I don't know. I'm seeing jars like this for up to like several hundred dollars, but then I also see one exactly like this is sold on auction for $47. So I'm not for sure. It says 1861. It says White Whittle's Patent, June 18th, 1861 on this side. Um, here's one sold off auction, or uh, best offer off $140. So this might be really good. Uh, we'll clean it up and see what good a condition it is. There is a chip on the lid, so that's unfortunate. A couple little chips. So we'll clean it up. This might be really good, but I think at the worst, you're looking at probably 50 bucks right here, I think. Cool. at the worst all right we're gonna switch to donna now this we showed in the other video it's just a uh old some kind of drink set or something so we'll move on from that and then what do we got donna more paper oh we got one of those over there this is a soup amber depression glass Look at there. That's pretty base you got there, Donna. Satin. The other pink satin that I put listed is pretty good. Cool. Ooh, there's a green satin. Is it uranium? I don't know. Maybe. Should we get the light? Yeah. I don't think it is. No. We'll check it though. Ooh. Bread and butter Fostoria. Green Fostoria. Yeah. All right. The divided dish, candle wick is what they call that on the edges. Yeah. I'm gonna put them back in here. Okay. That is an amber depression glass cookie jar. Very cool. It's cool. And again, no, no chips around here. These the are just clean. three more of these soup ones. Cool. Like this. All right. Cup and saucer. All right. This one is a clear footed meadow rose. Cool. Clear glass. Oh, these are just more of the candles. Divided dishes. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, couple. Uh, cup, coaster. Coaster. There you go. Yeah. All right. Is that that coat? That's it? All right. And that one. Okay, so we have a dilemma. Here's our dilemma. So when going through the fire by stuff, I found a book. And this book, I want to, I'll pop up a picture, like a couple pictures from the listing. So here's a picture of it. It's fire equipment, accessories, and supplies. And it's a shopping catalog. But they, I can't find a year in it anywhere. Now, these books from this company, I've seen sell from anywhere from uh $80 to like $300 and 
So I just, but I can't find a year in this one, which really I think probably hurts it a little bit, but I can't find this online anywhere on the internet. Maybe, maybe you can, but um, our decision will have already be made by the time you see this. So I listed it at $200, and that was yesterday? Yeah. Just yesterday afternoon, so, you know, day and a half ago. And I thought, well, let's just see what happens. Well, I can't find another one like it, and we just got an offer for $100. So on one hand, $100 for a book from the Firebuy. On the other hand, super rare, can't find it anywhere, book from the Firebuy. So do we take the $100? Do we counter offer? Do we sleep on it? What do we do? What do you say, Donna? Whatever you think is best, honey. <laughs> Wrong answer. <laughs> uh, we give it a minute or two. All right, so you can tell us what you would do. I mean, I know it's only half price of what we listed it before, but I told her that I'm going to shoot high, and then, hey, if we get an offer, I, I even said that, I think, at the time. Maybe we'll sell it for $100. We'll probably sleep on it tonight. I mean, the offer's good for 24 hours, and just see what we think, but I don't know. We'll, we'll probably take it, or would you not? And it's not that it's worth 200 We don't know what it's worth, because I can't find one. So tell us down <laughs> below what you did. Rare. And I'll try to remember to tell you at the end of this video if we sold it or not for a hundred. We'll see. All right, Donna's tired of doing the glass, so she's gonna get a couple crates here. A Shelby Nebraska mug. All right. Here is a Nebraska mug. Maybe it'll go with those glasses, the yeah. jiggers. This is a Pabst Blue Ribbon. PBR right there. And this is a cougar that's like you yeah you're a cougar yeah <laughs> uh, stein another budweiser stein cool and uh, we have found that these are not worth a whole lot but maybe we'll come across the original one you never know this is 2014 maybe it's schlitz schlitz right there sometimes they are this is yeah, a another Budweiser oven. Stein. We see, we come across those a lot. Another Budweiser Stein. Yep, yep. And a another Budweiser Stein. All right. So I would say here. this is probably our biggest bet right here, the Cougar mug. Maybe the maybe shows. the Pabst. Otherwise, it's probably a lot of dollar auction there. Oh, and my camera was not pointing at it. The Cougar. What's in here? I don't know. Looks like glasses. What the heck? It's grease. That's that's greasy. It's not greasy though. Perfect it's... lubrication. Interesting. Axle grease. What'd they have on it? They had $30 on it. That's interesting right there. Oh, you still get clear glass. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a bunny rabbit. It's a bunny. Is it broken? What's the deal with that? Is it painted? Yeah, it's painted. Oh. Usually they're hen roosting uh, uh, nesting hens. Oh, was it repaired? It looks yeah. like it's got some issues there. That's unfortunate. Poor bunny. Donna doesn't like bunnies anyway. <laughs> they eat my flowers. Oh. You just listed two fighting chickens. I did. And looks like you got two more. Oh. A lid from a copper teapot. Oh there? no, the copper teapot. Right there. That's kind of nifty. Yeah. Here's the other chickamum. There they are. Look at that. Prepared for battle. That's the, cool. The, I listed smaller ones. Really? Yeah. I'm thinking $30, $40. Yeah, probably. For those guys. And this is. What do you got now? Motor, motor oil, oil additive. There's stuff in it. Right there, 1850. That's what they had on it. That's interesting. And what do you got here? It's a finch birdhouse. Oh, cool. She might just keep that. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's it for that crate. 
Hey, did you know that a majority of our watchers are not subscribers? So if you're watching and you like this kind of stuff, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's free and it really helps our channel. Blah, 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 what all the YouTubers say. But anyway, let's get back to picking. <laughs> okay, Donna just went through this toad. It's all clear glass and that is not fun and exciting. So we're going to skip to the next one. There is a towel. Cotton. These are super cute. These are made in Japan and I've sold these one of these as skunk one before or a squirrel very, one very cool Ooh. that's that, that kind of broken off that's not even broken off right there kind of cool looking. glass apple paperweight with a cool pattern on it look at that very, cool. very nice these are 1970 francoma elephant look at that that's neat i like it this it looks like a mccoy but i don't think it is it's not marked no interesting pot potter potter pot planter planter that's the word i'm looking for a tire ash tray vintage What's this? and a wooden oh. box grocery box and a, a recipe recipe, Whoop. recipe box yep and then there's just some old vintage bottles in here. Very good. Yep. All righty. Woo! What could we have here? Probably glassware. Oh no, is it more crystal glass or clear glass? These are chips. They're the real thin. Okay. We'll take a look in this and see if it's worth showing you. All right, there was a whole bunch of clear glass, but we do have some highlights. They weren't just clear glass. Well, here's a couple of clear glass dish sets, cream and sugar sets. Cream and sugar sets. But then we have, look at this. It's a fish. This doesn't say Fenton, but look at the bottom. It's got like a fish. Something. And then it's got this, it's curved. There's no chips on it. So that's kind of a cool piece right wonder there. I wonder if it glows. I don't know. Oh, we never did check that thing earlier. Royal Copley. And then we have a Royal Copley. Both like of a these are. Bird dish thing. See, it says Royal Copley or something. Yeah. And another bird dish there. This and is then with this. The Japanese, it says Satsuma. This is the kind of uh, painting, you know, that you can feel, feel it. And then on the inside, show that. It's painted on the inside. Yeah. So it's going to be for the yawns. It's like 11.30 at night. <laughs> this is a green basket gold enamel. Yep. Possibly check. Yep. And then lastly in there was this. It says a Fenton. Yeah. Ruffle. Something. C-O-U-P-O-T-E. Capote. Compote. So very nice piece there. I've got some uh, very cool. Fenton vases. Kind of like that. But taller and one is a blessing at the top anyway listed right now in the store yep all right let's move this stuff on and keep moving should i pluck your eyebrow donna has the hiccups she doesn't want me to go on while she has the hiccups does this scare you maybe this will scare you into not having the hiccups me filming you having the hiccups come on where's the hiccup come on look at her eyes sparkle when she has the hiccups <laughs> trying so hard. All right, we're gonna get, we're gonna press on. Yeah. All right, here we go. Dinner time. Teacher's bell. Solid brass. What is that? That looks like an old red light. It's for the railroad. It's oh, yeah. a railroad one. That's cool. Very cool. There's no tag on it. The tag came off, so. This is a very old hammered copper. Yeah, it's, it's got probably a through. spit. Spittoon? Spit one <laughs> or it is. a pee one. <laughs> That's funny. This is a woven basket again. Okay. I've had another one of those. It's just a picture holder. Camel Soup's recipe box. 
Another bell. Wow, that is loud. It really dings a lot. It is a heavy brass eagle bell. That is sucker it is loud. I can feel that in my ear eardrums. Uh huh. That's cool. That's cool. Those are neat. That is heavy. I don't know if there's any maker on it or none, but very cool piece. Next. It. DVD. And. Geisha? Something. Yeah, we just we sell DVDs by lots. You know, we'll check them, but on eBay. But we sell just lots of them on the dollar auction. These are Budweiser Steins and another nice heavy German Stein right there. Munich. On okay. This one. Yeah, we'll check them all. We'll Google them some and see what we can find. There's a Line and Googles. Googles right there. Uh, 2014 what? Holiday Stein Line and Googles. What is that? It's a beer. That's that Here. crate. That's that. All right, more wrapped items. Ooh. Some kind of vintage vase. Belgium pottery vase right there. It says Belgium right there on it. It sure does. Royal Copley. I got a flower on Very this. cool. Royal Copley. I Picture. don't see any chips up here. There's a stoneware jug. Is that McCoy? That is McCoy. It says, I don't know what that says. I don't know if that's McCoy. It says McCoy on it, but I don't know what it is. That, that says like a crock waterer? Neat old crock waterer top. So it's like a top. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Learn something new every day. Royal Copley. Okay. This is, cool. this is a cool basket here. The tail is broken. Oh, broken piece. They haven't found many broken pieces. This is so that's part okay. of set. Yeah. I'm There's listening. the rest. Well, maybe one of them is worth something if the one's broke. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. Got an upside down bird. Is there a name on it? No name on it. So that's that crate. We're getting down there. We got one, two, three, four things left. There was a couple that we already showed in the other video. There was the briar horses and the camping stove. So we skipped those and the basket of My Little Ponies. We skipped that. So we got four left to do. This is heavy. Woo! Oh yeah. We like the paperweights. They do pretty good. Even though like on dollar auction they do pretty good. But that's kind of almost purple. Yeah, paperweight purple with bubbles. Very cool. I would take a whole crate of paperweights. What? Or just a black orb onyx. It's got a name on it. Sphere. Sphere. Look That's cool. Looks like a... I don't know what that looks like. Old candy. You know what I'm talking about? Little Christmas candy. Yeah. That's cool. And it's not Rudolph, but it is a reindeer. Right there. We're close. Oh. Is there going to be another one of those in here? Remember that we just sold the yellow one? Oh, well, that's the hinge. I don't know. Look at there. Would you look at that? Are these salt cellars? Do they have spoons or what's the right Vinegar. Else? There's a, yeah. Look at that. Let's hope Would that you we, look at that. Let's hope we have the stand for it. Oh, the yellow thing we just sold. Okay, we just got positive feedback from that today. Yeah. Wow, lots of pieces to this. I hope. What the heck comes? An old funnel? Yeah, it's a ear. It's a hearing no! aid. <laughs> it's the it goes shut up really would you look at that would you look at that it just feels like something else should be I'm where looking. the screw is oh right here wow what was the yellow one what did it sell for 
Uh, that was all glass. 60 something. Let me look it up. Okay, the one that we sold, I'll pop up a picture right here. This is a uh, condiment set that sold, we just got positive feedback today, it sold for $58.49. So this is another Now type. on the one that just sold, it was, this base was glass and it was cracked all, not it cracked, had chips. chips all the way underneath. This one is metal and the glass pieces don't look to be chipped at all. So yeah, that might be something cool right there. Yeah, it's called table set. Very cool. We'll set that nice and gently over here. Now what do we got? Now I'll hit it with my arm and knock it over. Uh, a cowboy. Yep, that is a cowboy right there. What is that? He's heavy. It's heavy, yeah. All right. We have a Chevrolet racing car diecast. There you go. That's it. No, I don't have a name or anything on it. In All right, that's bucket. it for that crate. All right, three more. Find me something good, Donna. Okay. A bowl. Cereal bowl. <laughs> <laughs> California Pottery Bowl Flame. Flame. Look at the flame. It says California Pottery or something. I don't know what it says. Some shot glasses. I don't drink anymore, so that's not much use. Backfire barbecue. We uh, put shot glasses in the booth. Yeah. <laughs> when we first started, and several of them did sell. Yeah. I don't know if that's because there's a need for shot glasses in the uh, college college world. Yep. This one shot glass says, "If you drink, don't drive." And it's got a horse. The guy following the horse. A horse, of course. Amber trinket jar right there. That looks pretty old. For sale for $1.99 right there. It is? Yeah. More shot glasses. What's <laughs> that one? That looks, that's just a glass. Strange. Oh. Michelob glass. Costa Rica. I had a big glass Budweiser. that was shaped like this. It did not have the name of a beer or anything on it. A small stuff. Um, that used to be my dad's mom's and he used to drink iced tea out of it. Hmm. Budweiser. Set. McDonald's. Is that? That is a Batman cup. Oh, we have a story. Should we tell the story real yeah. quick? Yeah. Okay. There's another. Is there a whole set of these? I know where we could send these. <laughs> okay, I'm not even kidding, guys. We have a dumb story. We have a dumb story. Yep, Batman set. These are from McDonald's. A and W. There's three of them. Hopefully, there's the fourth. Well, these are different sizes. So maybe they're a little different. But Let's see. either way, yeah. You know, one more thing, and then I'm gonna tell this story. There's another Batman mug. So there are two different sizes or whatever. Anyway. Okay, so here's the story. And it's been three years now? Yeah. This was like the first year that we were full-time. Remember us talking about the glass buyouts? We bought out a ton of glassware. Colored glassware, you know, just a little bit of clear, but mostly colored, all kinds of different things. And that was three years ago. We still have a couple of boxes left. Okay, so we did this thing. We went and we agreed on the price and we separated everything out and said, okay, in this area, this is everything we're buying. We paid $1,000 and it was trailer full, van full. Did we come back for a second load? I think yes, we did. Yes, it was our very first It was our big first big buy buyout like and it was a lot. But we, the guy in his basement, his wife had passed and she collected all this stuff. And we, he had cameras in his basement and we separated out with him, walked through the whole thing, said what we wanted, and then put all the other stuff over here. And so it was all together. We worked on this for, I don't know, it was, did we do it like the day and then, anyway, it was two trips to Omaha with a trailer. It was huge. We get all the way done and we're going about our life and like, I don't know, a month later, I'm on a golf course somewhere with my cousins and my brothers and I get an email from this guy that we bought this from. He sent a rude email and accused us of stealing stuff that we weren't supposed to get in the clean out. And so we're like, 
Why that so? can't be like what you know because we had it all separated and the guy's got cameras and he says why well, I, I know it was over in this spot or whatever and it's gone so we asked what stuff and he said it was a set of mcdonald or batman glasses so it was like this <laughs> batman glasses and he's like i know you took them and we so we still had all the boxes here in the garage yeah like floor to ceiling it was there was I don't know how many boxes, but it was a lot. Tons of boxes here. So we came home and we went through every single box. Didn't find them. So then we, we went through twice. every single box again and yes. put an X on it. And this stuff is all wrapped like this with paper. We went through every box twice and we couldn't find them. And so I told him, I'm really sorry if we come across them, whatever. And he came back with another rude uh, message still saying that we took them. And so we were like, you know what? I went on eBay. They're t they were $25 for the set of four. $25. And he was so upset about this. And I ended up buying off eBay and having them shipped to his house just to appease him. We never did find the Batman glasses. We never and had the Batman glasses. He said it wasn't the right set. And he was mad. Oh, about that's right. That's right. That's right, I sent him, I bought off eBay, sent it to him. It's probably because of like this. See how these are short? And see how these are tall? He said it wasn't the right set. No, what it was was there was four and there was two of the same instead of all four different ones or whatever in this set he had. And he said it wasn't the right set. So I had him keep them and then ordered him another one, another set of the correct four, and I sent him a picture. Is this the ones you want? And he's like, yeah, that's the right one. So I mailed him another set. So with shipping, it's like 40 bucks a time. It was crazy because we never did find those. I know we never had those Batman glasses. No. And to go through all the stuff that we got from him, and there was some really good stuff, and we made really good money on that buy. But to have it be McDonald's Batman glasses and that he was... And we know that we don't have them because we looked them up specifically yeah. and found that they weren't worth anything on eBay, so we left them there. Hi, helicopter. Yeah, when Donna was sorting things, she checked those and she remembers leaving them there. So, anyway, we have some more now. Should we mail them to him? <laughs> <laughs> No, we're not going to mail them to oh, him. But anyway, fun yeah. story. So that was our first year, like literally our first year that after we quit our jobs, our first big buy. buy. You talk about feeling like this big when I was on that golf course and he sent this. He's like, he threatened lawyers and everything over these glasses. And we were just like, what are we going to do if a lawyer contacts us? Like whatever, you know, I mean, it was just ridiculous over Batman glasses that we never did have. So anyway, we got two more things. Let's go. It's been a long enough video. It's like midnight. We already showed this one. It has the great big three gallon cookie jar. In All it. right. So we have one more. Oh, are we going to end a clear glass tote? <laughs> we might. Oh, ah. there's amber glass. Oh, I think we showed these. Did we? There was a set of these little crackle. Yep. I remember. There's a set of these, I think. And that dish. I think we showed these in the last video. We'll grab a few things and see if there's anything that... We don't recognize, but I think this was already shown. All right, so in here, we think we've shown most of this, but we did repack we did. a couple things. So we think so we showed that already. Um, there's a set of this kind of china here. I have so some we'll, of the pieces over there from a different box. Yeah, we'll look up. We'll look that up and see if that's worth anything. And then there's one thing that seems pretty cool. This, what is it? A hanging southwest hanging Why don't you vase. hold it up, please? There, see how it's got a pointy bottom? And then use your other hand. There you go. And it has that thing that apparently goes with it. Yeah, that, it, that it's, I was setting it on there. Oh, it's not originally with it? It says right on here that it's a hanging vase, but it sits on that so it doesn't roll. Oh, okay. Well, I thought maybe it hung. Let's pick that up. Like this hung somehow and then it sits on, but that wouldn't work. Never mind. So anyway, it's a cool old thing. That's what it is. <laughs> it's a cool old thing. That's it. It's midnight. We're done. That's all. That's we have all a folks. we have a huge mess. Yeah. But that's it. But now we know what we have. Yes. So thanks for watching, everyone. Um, the blue blanket is sold. Thank you, Jess. 
And the multicolor one is still available from the last video. Yes. All right, I think we're gonna wrap it up. We have a huge mess of paper and other things around us, but it's midnight and Donna likes to stay up till three in the morning. I do not. So I think <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed, but uh, reminder, we're gonna have a map soon. Yes. There's a plan. Uh, but anyway, you made a big mess, Donna. What do you have to say for yourself? Like and subscribe, share with your friends. <laughs> there you go. So, hey, thanks for watching everybody. We are Happy Art Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye.